Hi guys and welcome back if you're a returning viewer. If you're new to my channel, welcome. It's great to have you here. My name's Maya and I'm an Australian housewife who posts weekly household tasks and cleaning motivation videos. If that sounds like something you'd like to see more of, then please remember to subscribe to see more videos like this one and to support my channel. So on to today's video. If you're a returning viewer, then you know the drill. We're starting in, surprise, the kitchen. <laughs> so as usual, this has been filmed after a weekend. So the kitchen is a bit of a disaster and there are some dishes that need to be done. And as all the mamas, papas, guardians and carers out there knows, where there are children, there's a never ending torrent of dishes created. So we're gonna get those dishes done and then of course the counters need to be wiped down before starting any other projects around the house. This just always falls in line with my philosophy as I've mentioned in previous videos that the kitchen is the heart of the home and very much a central point where everyone does a lot of their living so if that one is clean and tidy it just makes the rest of the day flow better and feel more coordinated and organized. Then moving on to the laundry, you're going to be starting with separating the dirty clothes and changing over a load in the machine. So whilst that's running, I can put away our clean clothes. In Neve's room though, when we get to that section, before putting away any of her clean stuff, I'm going to be going through her drawers and hangers to clear out any of the clothing items that are now too small. I try to do this at the beginning of each winter and summer to keep on top of it. Uh, this season I must have fallen a little bit behind because over the weekend Neve came down dressed and ready for the day but her shirt was almost two sizes too small. So to give her a credit, the outfit was super cute but the shirt was definitely too small which you could tell because the shirt arms finished at a really funny spot. Uh, so the shirt that she wore that day is being washed after her wearing it and then it will be added to the other items that I pull out of her drawers and her coat hangers. Um, and then all the clothes will be bundled up together ready to be given to one of our friends so the clothes will continue getting extra lives out of them. So 
I'm also going to be retidying her drawers. As you can see, they're a bit messy at the moment. So I'm going to be retidying them using a folding method that is very similar to the Kanmari method. If anyone missed uh, that trend or have been putting off trying out the Kunmari folding method for drawers, then you really, really need to try it. The space that just suddenly appears in your drawers is amazing. I, so today I'm obviously going to be removing some of the clothes, which will also add extra space. But the first time I used the Kunmari method on the drawers, I actually added more clothes in to the pre-existing stuff that was overflowing and still had space for more clothes at the end of it. So point of the story is if you haven't already and you do store your clothes in drawers, then you need to try this method. So Neve is normally responsible for putting away the majority of her own clothes when they're clean, but I also go in and just put away small loads here and there when she's at school. So because it's one of her jobs that she prefers to do herself, I try not to mess with her drawer system too much because I want her to keep that sense of ownership and responsibility, but she's also still learning to fold her clothes, which I do help her with and help to teach her how to do it when she asks me to uh, but because she's still learning to fold rather than bundle them um, then this drawer chaos is the end result but she does try and she tries very hard with her folding and you can see where she's sort of folded and then turned it into a scrunched up ball and it's just the absolute cutest thing ever and just so sweet so I'm just going to be working my way through each drawer here whilst watching a video on my phone to keep me entertained. <laughs> Alright, so whilst I was clearing out her clothes, I thought I would also switch over the hangers in Neve's room to make sure all of the clothes were on a matching hanger set. I haven't done this in Tim's of My Clothing yet, but now it is definitely on my to-do list because having matching hangers is just one of those very small, easy things you can do to make everything look so much more cohesive and organized and less chaotic and just bring a little bit more zen into your life. And as you can see in the footage here the final result from the folding method has made a huge difference there's a lot of free space now that can be used for the next round of clothing because I obviously need to be replacing some of the stuff I took out with the next size up and again just makes everything feel much more cohesive and organized uh, and the final pile of clothing that was removed in the pile is going to be washed folded put away and passed on to our friend. So those clothing, as I mentioned before, will be getting another life. All right, y'all, so today we are going to be doing a final coat on this bedroom door. I want all the upstairs doors to be white. And so far, bathroom door is white. Excuse the laundry hanging up, it's windy here. Spare bedroom door is white the bedroom doors master bedroom and Neve's bedroom doors though were this weird purpley gray it's like a purple undertone gray or a gray undertone purple depending which way you want to look at it um, but I hate this I've hated it from the day we moved in so we're doing white ones but because they're so <laughs> such a dark color that we're covering with white. Let me see if I can get that to adjust. Um, it's not really picking it up on camera, but it's quite patchy. So this is after two coats. Uh, so we're going to do a third coat today to try and get this to pure white. Don't have enough of my enamel door and trim paint left currently to do this door plus the other bedroom door. So I have to go pick up some more for that, but I should have enough to finish this off and maybe the door jam. Uh, but we're going to be doing that today and then hopefully today we'll also be 
finishing up the wall behind the bed so that is going to be a kind of like a dusty orange color like a terracotta playoff uh, but let's get started and we'll see how it goes Brilliant. This is just a day or two later. I'm working on getting our master bedroom up to a standard that I like because as you've seen in previous videos and that pre-shot I just did, um, the master bedroom is the space that just constantly gets forgotten in the home renovations and the home improvements that we do because it's realistically just a space that Tim, myself and the dog use. No one ever really sees it. Neve comes in and out when she feels like it, but no one ever really sees it. But it's now gotten to the point where it annoys me so I thought I'd get it started. So I thought I would start with some of the easiest improvement options within a room which is the painting jobs so the wall here that the door is on i've already painted the base color which is the antique white antique white usa i believe the color is that's what all of the walls downstairs are and what all the main walls in the living space uh kitchen stairwell are neve's room has two walls this color and two walls in the fairy wings quarter which is this beautiful pastel pale pale pink um that she likes and as you can see it's a very sort of warm white on the walls which i quite like i'm trying to bring some warmth into this room because everything was very white gray and cold when we moved in except the carpets which were beige uh, so I'm just using the aqua enamel paints to get the door jams and the doors done. I added in some flow troll to minimize the paintbrush strokes and the brush roller strokes. And as you saw before, I accidentally dropped the lid straight into the paint, but just wiped it off my shirt because that's my painting shirt anyway. It's already covered in all sorts of paint spatter. But yeah, just getting some started. So this is the mess that was under the bed head. It looks worse than it actually is because the carpets are beige. It shows up the dust that accumulated under there quite thickly. It filled up the entire vacuum when I vacuumed it. And then all the white bits are just little feathers because we have a couple feather pillows and a goose down blanket on the bed. So they do come out when we change the bedding. So I've added in the wool prep that I've done previously before today's 
video uh, where I've spackled the walls into all the hole prep and then I've sanded it off and then I'm not sure where my footage has gone but I did clean off the wall as well using sugar soap and then uh, went on to start painting the wall in this new color. The one thing I will mention is you can probably see that the edging is a bit messy. I ran out of painter's tape and I thought, oh, I've painted loads of times. I can handle this without paint. Don't be like Maya, use your painter's tape. All right, y'all, so I have finished doing that feature wall. So that's the color. It is, oh, it's hard to see on the camera, it's not bringing it up, it's more of like a dusty coral, kind of an orange color. I wonder if I can get on the, get down here. Hang on. No, again, that's blowing it out, super vibrant. It's more of like a dusty coral. It's um, by Dulux. Did I just see it then? No, by a company called Dulux. It's the Mexican standoff, which is amazing. But I thought I'd do a quick snapshot and show you all the mess. So this is dry, or well, touch dry, that's touch dry now. But, whoops, come on. Absolute messy, 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 messy. So, yeah, just a bit of a disaster. And then out in the landing as well. I've got the door stuff. Um, all right, so now I'm going to finish up, tidy this up, quickly put the door handles back on now that it's completely touch dry, I think. Actually, no, I'll wait till tomorrow to do that. Um, but I'll finish that all off. But now I've got to give this a quick tidy as best I can. Uh, I'll put everything back once the paint is touch dry tonight at bedtime. Uh, but I've got... 15 minutes to get everything tidied up and put away uh, because then Neve finishes school so I need to go pick her up. Alright, let's do it. Thanks so much for joining me here today guys with this video. I really appreciate you coming back to see it if you're already subscribed. If you're not, please remember to hit that subscribe button so you are. I am really appreciative of any support here on my channel. Otherwise, have a great week guys and I'll see you next week for the next video. Bye!